What's up guys, it's your girl Jay here and I am back for another video. In this video, as you can tell by the title down below, it is my May favorites. Now, the good thing about this video is that it will be very, very, very short because I only had two favorites. That's right, you heard me right. One, two favorites. And one of them is a product and another one of them is a event I went to. Now. Before I get into all of that, I have a huge announcement going on and the announcement is on my previous video, which I would put a link down below. So please check out that video. I, um, I really hope it's okay with you guys. I really wanted to do this to all my subscribers. Um, it's a huge, huge announcement and all you have to do is like up the video and leave a comment down below um, and be subscribed. So check out that video, come back here, and matter of fact, let's get on to talking about my main favorites. My first main favorite is an item. It is a highlighter, and this one may beat my other previous highlighter that I always carried with me every time I had a beat type face, and that is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Look at that. And this highlighter is amazing. I'm just gonna swatch it right there. And if you can see that glow, the way the glow is, like on my hand, it doesn't do it any justice, but it's just so glowy, so gorgeous. I really love this highlighter. This is going to be my new drugstore highlighter because um, the Betty Lou Manizer, I always, that was always like a ride or die highlighter for me, even though I got other highlighters, but it was so simple and like I could always carry it with me anytime that I did go out with makeup on. So this might be a new favorite for me. Um, I'm a mixture, I'm not a mixture of high-end and low-end um, brands. I'm more of a kind of the low-end brand because I always try to find makeup and makeup deals that are more affordable for my pockets because everybody knows me, knows that I try to save a coin or two or 20. So I don't want to always spend my money on makeup. Like there's this new product that's coming out next month and I really want to get my hands on it to try it. But for $54, that's half of that's half of $100, I don't think I want to get it. So I'm very frugal when it comes to my money and it's just it's so hard to try to try to like review and talk about things in like the normal person points of view when everything is so gosh darn expensive. But I love, I love this highlighter right here. Sorry, my video started again. I really love this highlighter. This highlighter is the bomb for me. Um, this is in 322B, Crown of My Canopy, and it is perfect and is brown skin friendly. So if you want a very affordable highlighter and you want something that's very pigmented, illuminating, and you could be highlighted to the gods, get this wet and wild highlighter you won't regret it let's get on to the very last thing because I told you I only had two things that I liked in the month of May the last thing that I liked in the month of May would have to be my trip to BeautyCon NYC well it's not really a trip since I live in New York City I live in Brooklyn and it was here in Brooklyn at the um, Brooklyn cruise terminal but me and my mom went, um, I got glam, she did a little something, she didn't do much, but she had so much fun, I had so much fun. We've gotten so much stuff, we brought our little traveling thing with us to hold all our free stuff so we wouldn't have all, all the stuff in our hands and of course a couple of stuff that I bought that again I will link that video of the, my mini haul from BeautyCon down below. I gotta remember to link all my videos, I should write all this down. <laughs> But um, yeah, BeautyCon was so fun, so tiring. We were there since nine o'clock. We left at four, 
So basically, we kind of did a whole business day. And I saw my homegirl, and because she was working at the Soap and Glory booth. It was just too much fun, and I can't wait to do it again next year. I've So far, I've done IMAX, and I've done BeautyCon, and the last one I have to go to is Generation Beauty. Um, that will be here in New York City. It will be at the Jacob Javits Center in September. Now, I'm a beauty insider, not a beauty insider, um, an Ipsy member. So I'm trying to see if they'll give some Ipsy members some tickets because $100 for a ticket, $34 extra to get in early. As a creator, I would love to learn and like, and try to network with brands even though I'm a really smart channel, but I am a hard worker and I'm willing to do the work and learn as much as I can. So, um, Ipsy, if you see this, plus I'm still waiting for my glam bag to do a video on that, to do on my June glam bag. So, yeah. So, BeautyCon Brooklyn was the ball. I can't wait to go next year. And that was it. My highlighter, my highlighter and BeautyCon Brooklyn was basically the two May favorites. The only two things in May that I really, really like. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this video right here. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button, which is, I forgot which side. Please give this video a thumbs up. And please list in the comment down below, what is your favorite highlighter, if you have one, or what's your favorite makeup brand. And I will make sure to check it out. All right, also make sure to check out that my huge announcement video. Click the link down below and enter that. Enter, I'm giving it all away, but make sure you check out that video. Everything is on that video, all right? So, and then I'm gonna leave some related videos right where Mr. 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 Bunny is at. I'll leave some related videos right here and right here of some monthly favorites, all right? So with all of that being said, guys, be blessed, be safe, and have a good evening. Later, guys.